Monet bags look extra dark today. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but people always comment on how nice my eyeshadow looks when I put like makeup on. And usually I don't wear eyeshadow. It's just my raccoon eyes. Anyway, the sun is setting. The work day is almost done. I have half an hour left. We've been zooming with the tasks today. Been really productive. And let me show you my home office setup. Well, first of all, I fixed this because it was a mess down here. And one thing I learned from working in IT is cable management and how important it is. So. I have one of these and this fell down because I didn't attach it properly but since I have a drill now I was able to attach it with screws instead of ratchet being ratchet and putting nails on it. Ta -da! All clean looking now um, but honestly I don't spend much time working on my actual desk but I'm most productive on my bed. So here's the setup. We got laptop. Usually I have my iPad. Today I wrote everything down that I need to do on my little notepad. And then I have YouTube playing in the background. Usually I just have it on for like background noise. So, whoa. So I don't feel as lonely working from home all day every day. Not that I feel lonely, but it's just nice to have some background noise and sometimes music just doesn't do it. So it's almost birthday month. Let's just say birthday month is starting today. My birthday is in February, February 14, and I like to celebrate me the whole month. Call it narcissistic. I call it celebration of self. Anyways, um, my mom ordered my birthday gift already and it arrived and when I tell you that this is the best thing ever, like, I mean it, you need to buy this. I got the Ninja and it came with this bad boy, a food processor that I can make dough in, which yay, pizza and cookies. And like all these accessories, it came. This is the stand. This is the like individual thing. And I had a smoothie today, and it was the smoothest smoothie I've had in a very long time with my bullet. Like the bullet's good, but it leaves a few chunks behind. And my straw would get clogged, and it was not a good time for me. So I switched, and it came with so many accessories. And these blades are. Hella sharp. sharp. So yeah, I'm going to do some more stuff with that tonight. I'm going to prep some spinach for my smoothies. Oh, I'm going to make more of my lemon ginger elixirs. So I'm out of those. going to do a little bit more work and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Also, this is what is a good angle for the blogging? I don't know. Alright, I'm ready. This is like my go-to going outside outfit. I just throw on some leggings, socks. I'm not wearing my Burks outside. Relax. Hoodie, toque, open fort bag. Let's go. Box 
the wine. Let's get the wine. I was there for like 20 minutes trying to find a wine. It just gets so overwhelming. I never know what to pick. Usually I just pick the cheapest one, but since it's birthday month, I decided to splurge a little and get the $18 one. I hope this is a red because I'm kind of craving red, but it is the Comme au Jacques Beaujolais Village Appellation d'Origine Contrôlée Louis Jadot, Bon France, 2020. It is 13.5% alcohol. Oh, red wine! It says right here. I really want to learn more about wine and be actually knowledgeable when I go into the LCBO because right now I just look for the cheapest one. Cool, the stamp is. Will it focus? How cool is that? Super pretty. I picked this one because, first of all, I don't think I've ever gotten a cork wine. The cheap ones usually have the twist cap. So we're being bougie. Also, this one is um, from Beaujolais, which the one time I went to France in 20... Four years ago. That was four years ago already. What the... F Jeez, time flies. Um, yeah, so four years ago I went to France and we visited this uh, vineyard in Beaujolais and it was really nice the wine was good I don't think it was this wine but had a had a good time 10 out of 10 I only have white wine glasses a disgrace I'm putting red wine in it just kidding no one cares unless you're like a wine connoisseur which honestly I'm trying to be but not right now when I don't have that much money uh, where is my, see my corks, cork opener, cork bottle opener is all the way in the back because I don't use it. Honestly, I haven't been drinking that much since moving here to my new apartment anyway. Because we're trying to be healthier, I guess, and save some money. But I don't think I've ever used this. How exciting. And daunting because I don't know what I'm doing. Let's crack her open. Also, I just finished watching that show with Kristen Bell on Netflix. It's like a parody on the woman in the window across the street or whatever. That, was, that show was really funny. I love crime shows and movies, so that was really funny for me. Anyways, she had a collection, a bowl of like these cork, cork tops. Is that what they're called? Cork tops? Honestly, goals. It was filled to the brim, filled to the brim. And that's, that's what I want. Okay, next, I think we put this in. If this doesn't work and I don't get my wine today, I'm going to be incredibly sad. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll knock on one of my neighbor's doors. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. What's the procedure? And then I do that. Okay, we're doing it. It's happening. Oh my gosh. I got this much out. How do we get the rest out? Oh, 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 I broke it. Oh no! What do I do? What do I do? It's so sad. This was gonna be the first cork in my collection. It would have been so pretty, and I broke it. Oh my god. Twenty minutes later. Oh my god! Um, 
I almost poked my eye out, but we got it out in one piece. Well, like, it didn't fall into the wine, I hope. Here we go. This is what happens when you ask me to open a bottle of wine. How sad that I don't know how to open wine. Anyway, we're done with that. Garbage you go. Time to relax. Good morning, good morning. Well, it's actually the afternoon now. It's been a while since I last vlogged. We've been a little down, but it's time to pick ourselves back up. And I look a mess, so I'm going to give myself a haircut. I've seen like Jenna Marbles do the whole unicorn haircut thing. I like you can totally things are opening back up in Toronto now and you can totally get a haircut but I just don't want to so also it's there isn't like a great clips I usually get my haircut at great clips especially when there's like a coupon they usually do two coupons a year and uh, that's when I get my haircut for ten dollars but there isn't one nearby and all the salons, the fancy salons, are like $90 for a haircut. And we're just, we're not about that. I have my brush and my scissors and a hair tie. So let's wet our hair a little, I guess. My hair is greasy and I need a shower, but I wanted to do this first so I could get all the little hairs cleaned off. I think that's good enough. I'm scared. did it. I uh, did it poorly too. Look at that. Didn't do much. But that's okay. I'm just gonna feather this a little bit. Oh, you see that? Gave it layers. I think I like that way better. How was that? Okay, there's more of a V now. I'm into it. Anyways, I feel like I have long layers now. Sort of, maybe? I want more. If you're asking me if I butchered my hair, yes, I absolutely did. If you're asking if I regret it, not yet. We'll, we'll take a shower and style it and see. Um, this was more hair than I was intending, but that's fine. Okay, what do we think? Here is the front. We got some front layers. The back. Like, it's not bad, eh? It's not, not too bad. You doubted the, me there for a second. I know you did, but I pull through in the end. I pull through. Yeah, that's my haircut. I am digging this haircut. If you don't really care about your hair that much and you want to experiment, I would suggest cutting your own hair. Not for the faint of heart though, not for the faint of heart. I'm feeling a lot better now. That was a long time coming. I like to get my hair trimmed like every three months and I was supposed to get it done in November, but I didn't. So I'm glad I finally did that. 
Now I was thinking about going to Winners to get some Valentine's Day stuff. Um, you know, feel festive, celebrate my day of birth. But my friend just told me that there's like a convoy going on with um, anti-vax protesters and then mixed in to that is like a group of racists and anti-Asian groups. That's around Queen Street and I'm pretty far from Queen Street. I'm in Liberty Village. But you know, just in case they strayed from the pack and uh, stumbled their way down here, I kind of don't want to risk my life. Anyway, on a happier note, I'm gonna eat some Krispy Kreme because I ordered that last night. Like, look how cute this is. How cute is this Valentine's Day Krispy Kreme packaging? 